The cross product of two vectors is a geometric operation that has many applications in physics and engineering. In this video, we are going to introduce two versions of the right-hand rule for determining the direction of a cross product and provide several examples that the viewer should play along with for practice. When considering the cross product of the two vectors, the order of the vectors in the operation is important. The two vectors will define a plane, and the cross product will always be perpendicular to that plane in a right-hand sense. Here we see vector A and vector B. The interior angle between these vectors is shown as the small arc. The vectors in the arc all lie in the same plane, shown in the gray disk. For the first version of the right-hand rule, we take our right hand and extend the thumb in the direction of the first vector then orient our hand so that we can extend the pointer finger in the direction of the second vector. The palm of your hand is now on the plane of both vectors so that when you extend your middle finger, it is in the direction of the cross product. For the second version of the right hand rule, we take our right hand and point the hand with all fingers extended in the direction of the first vector. Then orient our hands so we can curl our fingers all at once towards the second vector. The circle formed by your fingers is now on the plane of both vectors so that when you extend your thumb from your hand it points in the direction of the cross product. 